Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to do a quick uh, review of these two products. Um, here we have the Zencan and the Zendak. And beautiful packaging. On the back of the packaging you have the specs uh, right there. Very uh, long list of the different specs that are on here. Uh, a lot of information there. And packaging is just really beautiful let's pan over here to the devices themselves and I have the I could have just spun these around to be honest uh, looking at the back of the Zen DAC you see there's a spot for a power supply uh, which some people like to get for this device um, certain uh you know lower impedance and very sensitive things and especially if your pc you know not all pcs are created the same some people have some, uh, some snaps and pops and getting that power supply will actually fix that and get rid of those having a standard but you have the usb right there you have rcas this cable actually comes with both devices you have uh, balanced right there. You have your fixed and variable. Turning the unit over, we see it has a pretty green light, which I wish they had had on the amplifier as well. That would have been nice to have these both match and glow green because I'm actually just really love lights. Uh, anything with a light is just really good. So you have true base on this one. It doesn't have X base. It has what's called true base. And it has the smart match, the power match, which is great for IAMs and lower impedance things. Uh, it's just a smart gain switch. I like that a lot. I'll put that off to the side. You get this uh, is what's supposed to come with it. For some reason, one of the boxes had this. I don't know why I don't really care as long as they work but this is theirs a lot of people like these they, they are pretty slick looking and me I got like a hundred of those so it really doesn't matter to me what they actually look like as long as they work uh, here we have the Zen can which is the headphone amplifier and this thing has four levels of gain which is amazing. Four, not just two, not high-low. You have all four. I have, at the most, had high-low and medium. I've never actually had four settings. You have your different inputs. There's three inputs in this. And you have your power on and power off. When you shut that off, and then you turn that back on, everything lights up like that. Then over here, besides the single-ended and the Pentacon balanced, you have your X base and your 3D, which is an analog circuit. This isn't some kind of digital filter or anything else like that. It is an analog circuit, and you put that on, and you get your X base, and that is seriously the best base boost that I have personally ever used. And I've had, I had, uh, I think two devices that have had a three-stage base boost and this just does a much better job a lot of base boost just muddy up everything they either give you too much or they just don't give you enough they really don't do anything at all or they do do it way too much and then it has the 3d and you can also use both at the same time or none at all very good feature uh, let's spin this around look at the different connections on the back there you see power supply which is included with this one uh, balanced you have your RCAs also included and you have your single-ended and your balanced also so you have a balanced out balanced in single-ended and you have RCA and that's about it on the back as you can see this thing is built solid let me put it back on its little pedestal here and then put this back. You can have the DAC on the top or the bottom. It doesn't really matter. Some people usually put the DAC on the bottom because that's not the one that's used the most. It's usually the amp is used if you have them in a stack. Me, doesn't really matter. Put the little adapter back in there that comes with it. Put that one aside. Um, it's It's handsome looking, but... Uh, I've heard a lot of people don't like this, and this is the be design 
that they came up with. And this is to be like, you know, the, the rocks. If you've ever seen the Zen rocks, maybe you've had a wallpaper with it, with the little bamboo fountain off to the side, you know. That's what it's designed like, those rocks to be rounded, but flat on the top and the bottom to be stacked. And there's also a Zen blue, which would give you Bluetooth abilities that you can stack on top of this. It looks just like that, but the front thing here, I think, glows. I don't, I don't know if it has a knob. Be honest, I don't have that. Um, knob wise, both of these very nice. It has a nice, you know, feel to it. Feels heavy, solid, but it, it moves nice and smooth. And I think with the Sennheisers and the Fostex, I was looking just a little bit past. 12 o'clock position with this and exactly at the 12 o'clock position with this so it was roughly it was roughly about here here's the difference in the amplification needed for this uh, and I should note that it was on regular gain I didn't use the high gain until afterwards I think high gain it would be up to the top gain it would probably be about around there for the Fostex T50 IPs so let's cover uh we've covered the inputs uh basic specs of these is uh we'll do this and we'll do this one and obviously this one will be a bit more powerful the um 12 ohms to 300 ohms uh, single-ended unbalanced and 12 ohms to 600 ohms uh, Pentagon balanced. Same down here, same uh, specs, I believe. Let me get the box, just make sure. So I'm not talking. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so it, the, both of them go up to 600 ohms. I don't think you're going to find a pair of headphones that go over that that I can think of. Um, I did have a pair of AKGs from a long time ago that were, I think, 600. They were vintage uh, back when I was in my AKG phase. I still love my uh, M220s, which sound really good on this. Here's my white M220s. They're the 2000, um, 2015, I think, Pro model. And honestly, on this, they sound fantastic. Uh, I have the Oom, which is like more than both of these put together, price-wise. And they sound so sibilant on that. I just, I never use them on that anymore. They just sound very harsh. Uh, that is so uh, transparent and clear, but it's just annoying in the high frequencies and everything. So I would never use them on that ever again. These, it sounds very good. Now we'll get into the sound on these. Um, and then I'll get into the pros and cons of it. And we've already looked at the inputs on and the buttons on the front and the back. Uh, we'll get into the some of the basic features of this. And why should you buy this? Why should you buy both of these? Okay. Now, uh, the sound is a very smooth sound sounds very tube-like almost uh obviously I'm, I'm trying to use the word analog but it, it's a dac of course it's going to sound analog uh, that's a really silly thing for me to say but it does have like a tube-like quality to it and there's some warmth there but it, there is also some very good clarity there and it, it just really has you know a decent amount of details but it's more of a s relaxed uh enjoyable sound signature than, say, a critical listening signature. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, both of these. That, that goes for both. And they support high impedance headphones, both. And they're both built like a tank. And then we get into the con part. Some people just don't like the shape of these. It's built like the Zen Rocks, like I said. But it's an off shape. It's not a square. It's kind of a half... Uh, crescent shape, I don't know, square with elliptical features, whatever you want to call it. 
And that shape throws some people off. They want a box and they want to stack the boxes on top of each other. You can still stack these. They're flat on the top and the bottom. They stack just fine. They fit anywhere. They're, they're basically the same dimensions as the other amp. I think they're the exact same width as the SMSL, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I think they're about the same width. I, I don't know. I'd have to actually have both of them together to compare the specs uh, side by side. But they do stack well. And there's also a blue. If you want to add a Bluetooth receiver, there is also a Zen Blue that can go on the top, and it's got a little antenna, and that has a little like glowing blue light on the front, and that will be your receiver. So you'd have a complete Zen stack. You can get the blue as well. Or you can get the Zen DAC and the blue, and basically have some pretty cool stuff there. Or the Zen Can, actually, and blue would be a really good pair. Uh, all three are around the 120, 140 price range, depend on where you're getting them. Uh, so seriously, you could have a nice Zen stack going on. Uh, I think that this thing offers a very good um, price to performance ratio. Uh, it comes with the cables that you need, which is amazing. Um, not saying anything very much uh, to say shit when I got my Magni and my Modi. Uh, both the Uber uh, 2 and the 3s that I owned, uh, the Liquid Spark, which I didn't own the DAC with the Liquid Spark. I actually had a Modi Uber 2 with that one. But, you know, both of those companies, I, you didn't get the cables you needed. You know, Zen's, for 129 they're giving you the cable that you need. You're getting the RCA cable, you're getting the USB cable, you're getting the power pack, uh, you're getting an adapter. Uh, so you get everything you need in the box. I think it offers a very good value, honestly. So let's just go, I'm rambling here, let's get into the pros and the cons of this. Uh, the cons now, um, from what I've read on Amazon, people have complained because the, the DAC doesn't have a power supply. It doesn't need it. It runs off your PC. They've complained because it's always on. You can, if it's plugged into your PC, you can't shut it off. But I'm going to show you a trick right now how to shut it off. Okay. Now it's off. And now it's on. <laughs> so just unplug it and it powers off. That's that's not a big deal. I wouldn't consider that a con. Uh, the USB cable that I showed you is too short. Um, I'm just looking at Amazon right now, looking at the different things that people said. Uh, they hate the shape. Yeah, honestly, I love the shape. I love anything. If this thing was an orb and it had a flat bottom and it could be stacked, I, ha I still have no complaint. And... I'm just a stickler for my desk. It just gets this white stuff on it all the time from the ceiling. It drives me up a wall. Um, so short USB cable, who cares? I have probably uh, six or seven very long USB cables that are very good. Um, always stays on. Not a big deal. It's good. It's actually, a, I would consider that a plus because you turn your your laptop or your desktop on and poof it's on you plug your phone in poof it's on um, no power supply for some people that may I can see that being a con because you may need that but if you did the Zen can you don't need it uh, that fixes the problem either way either get the power supply or buy the other unit and then you're all set um, that's it. Basically, the only thing that I have my personal con on this list is it doesn't have optical. If it had a spitif in or an optical in, it would literally be perfect, I think, for the price. Now, let, let, we're not saying that this has, you know, super high resolution. And even though this does support uh, MQA, it supports uh, DSD, DXD, It both of these, uh, that unit right here has a Burr Brown multi-bit chipset in it which is very good and it also has um, uh, 
ceramic capacitors from TDK. So there are some good components in both of these. There's a lot of good engineering going on here, which is typical. I wouldn't expect any less from iFi. Even at this price point, 129 the hip DAC was just absolutely incredible. Uh, I love that device. It's probably uh, one of the best. I think there's three or four different um, portable devices that I would actually recommend, and that, of course, is one of them because of its nice features. Uh, that, too, has a Burr Brown multi-bit chipset in, in it as well. I, 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 I think uses head across the line for a lot of things. Um, so overall, decent sound. It's very smooth, very enjoyable, relaxed type sound. Uh, it does have decent details. Um, it has very good clarity to it as well. There's very low distortion. There's very low ground noise. Um, it supports the high-end headphones from three to six hundred. You know, and it supports some of the lower ones all the way down to twelve ohms. Um, the thing is built like a tank, and honestly, in my personal opinion, it looks great. Two, it's outside of the box, the design, it's quite nice. And overall, it performs very well. Um, I'm going to leave a link down below. I can't, I'll leave a link to iFi themselves, because a lot of people, uh, Amazon is different for different countries and stuff. So uh, on Amazon in the U.S., it's 129 for the uh, DAC and for some reason now it's gone up to 149 for the can and the blue tooth one is also 129 um i didn't i don't actually have that here but i'm assuming it's as good as these in every way uh, as bluetooth uh, receivers go i've actually had a couple of bluetooth receivers which i don't have right now with me but that would make a nice additional thing put that on the top and you're all set to go you'd have your little zen stack going on um i think there's actually a phono one too a phono amp that they have out too now to go with these uh and it would be really cool as a zen uh cd unit to put on these too i think i would actually love that so in my personal opinion would I recommend this? Are you kidding? Of course I would recommend this. I don't think there's anything else in this price range that can touch this. And don't get me wrong, I do love the Sundavo that I have up there, which is around the same price, but you're not getting all the features that you get with this. You don't have the base boost. You don't have the gain, the smart gain. You don't have the different things that this has. And like I said, if this had optical, I really think that this would be perfect. I use optical a lot. Maybe it's a technology that, you know, most people aren't using too much anymore, but I personally use it a lot. Um, other than that, I can't see any drawbacks. I don't think the power supply is a drawback. It always being on is a drawback. The shoot, the short cable, the cable is a cable. You can get a cable anywhere. Um, and the shape. Uh, the shape, it stacks just fine. It'll fit anywhere that any conventional square will fit. So that's not a big deal at all. Uh, Look-wise, obviously that's going to be hit or miss. Everybody's going to like something different. Some people may not like the way this looks. There is a very pretty all-dark colored uh, signature series in this where the knobs are different. They're blue. Same quality, but it has a couple of extra buttons because it does have a Sennheiser uh, 6XX button. And just a few other features on that one. Well, that one is um, a little bit like $100 more for that. And the DAC unit is just a DAC. So you do need the amplifier with that one. Whereas this one, you can take this, pop this in your bag, and you, this can actually be portable uh, to a point. Obviously, you're not going to be sitting on a bus with this in one hand and the laptop in the other hand. I don't think that would make for a good experience, but if you're at the library or something, pop this sucker out, cafe or something like that, you know, yeah, it's good for that. Now, we're getting into the 20-minute mark. This was, you know, two products. Uh, essentially, they complement each other. The signature is basically the same signature on one as the other. I think that the can uh, has a little bit more resolution and uh, definitely a bit more power to it. Um, but basically, there's some good synergy between these two. They complement each other.
and they sound very good overall very very nice smooth sounding uh DAC amp combo and very good price for these uh there's there's nothing in this price range that can compare to these and everything uh, the Magni, uh, the Atoms and stuff, they're all good. They're very good. And this, they're actually, you know, extremely uh, clear up to some points. I think the, the Magni itself actually is a little bit warm. That's my personal opinion. The Atom was, was decent, uh, has some decent clarity to it as well. Uh, maybe a hint of warmth there. Uh, the Spark was very warm in my opinion <laughs> some somewhat warm yeah i actually had one that was just very that ran extremely hot for some reason i had to go back um and speaking of that these have been on for hours and they're just warm to the touch so that's another good feature about them they have some very good heat uh dissipation uh, the knobs the the overall fit and finish of them is very good I can highly recommend these. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. This has been the Zen Can and the Zen DAC uh, from iFi. And together they make up the Zen Stack. And it's a very good cost effective uh, combo that you can have that gives you the performance of a much, much more costly uh, equipment. So overall, I like these. I can highly recommend these. Uh, they may not be perfect. They may not be the best out there. But for the price, I think that you would probably be hard-pressed to find something similar to this with as many features. Thank you so much. Please stay safe, and I'll see you somewhere out on the Internet.